<clears throat> Why is Islam often misunderstood? In today's turbulent world, Islam is often on the front page, mostly for the wrong reasons. Islam means peace. Yet some have taken this peaceful way of life and hijacked it into a violent way and distorted their ideology for personal and political gains. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. That happens with Christianity. Uh, I mean, you think Timothy McVeigh was a, an atheist? Uh-uh. You think KKK members are atheists? <sighs> yeah, you know, uh, they've had Buddhists that have, you know, gone psycho, you know, <laughs> over religious arguments. I've seen churches break apart when I was a kid. I watched, yeah, Splinter, Splinter. Saw it with my own eyes. Saw people shunned. You know, we we're told some people we can't even talk about them now. It's bullshit like that, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Get that out of the way. Mm -mm. Pure delight. Seeing a faith through explosive world events and judging it by the actions of a misguided few is the primary reason why Islam is often misunderstood. Yeah, well, you know, all religions take a hit there, don't they? And I mean, even Scientology has a a fair game policy, you know, where you can do your worst to somebody if uh, they've decided you're suppressive. Apparently, they have decided I am because they stopped getting their junk mail. That's why I can't make videos about it. I think they got wise to me. I was like, they'd send me postage paid en envelopes, you know, so I'd read some of these things, you know, different kinds of things, and Fill it up with those and mail it back. <laughs> they must have figured it out. And I'd make videos. And actually, they did pretty good for me. Yeah. Islam is sometimes intentionally misrepresented. Yeah, well, that's unfair. Some politicians, religious leaders, and Media have found an ideal scapegoat in Islam. You know, post 9 11, it seemed like they were bending over backwards to uh, point out hey, no, 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 those are, but they're not all bad. I mean, that was George W. Bush saying that, you know. Yeah. I think most people got it. You know, they're like, yeah, that's a crazy branch of uh, Islam. Because a lot of us have met regular Muslims and they're just people trying to get through life like us. And, you know, often they're, they're great neighbors. And I mean, I've met, I actually get interactions with some of them, like when I first moved out on my own and got in my own apartment. So like I said, this one guy, I think his name was Mo. And uh, he was always hanging out at the pool and, you know, and him and his wife, he's, you know, and yeah, he gave me my first Koran, you know, invited me over, you know, and they fed me and it wasn't an Amway ambush, which was nice. <laughs> and it wasn't anything else creepy. I mean, I wouldn't have been in that anyway. Never been that adventurous. Uh By associating Islam with inhumane acts, if you, the inhumane acts of a handful, they have been successful in driving larger numbers of people to vote for them, to donate towards their ministries, and to read their newspapers. 
watch their television programs, and listen to their radio shows. You know, uh, that's probably so. I don't know. Uh, ever had a problem with Muslims? I've I've met quite a few throughout my life and um, liked them, most of them. If I didn't like them, it had nothing to do with Islam. But, no, it was always interesting. People that came from other places are always interesting to me anyway. You know, that's why I liked working at a hotel. <laughs> and I spent more than 30 years there. So, yeah, lots of people from all over worked there at some time or another, and I Definitely, it was interesting. <sighs> However, with an, in, with an increasing number of Muslims speaking out against this falsehood, the true and peaceful nature of Islam is becoming more evident. Muslims are standing up against terrorism, against the persecution and killing of innocent people, and against those who perpetrate such injustice in the name of any faith. Amen. We're not done, but that was a good point. Spot for an amen, even for me. Mm. Ah. The very word Islam is rooted in the Arabic word for peace. A fifth of the world's population is reclaiming this peace as their chosen way of life. And, you know, look, that's, that's really, these are really pretty. Very well done. I like the uh, pictures. I hope you can see them. All right. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I agree, you know. Uh, Lots of things are misunderstood, you know? Yeah, and, you know, a lot of times the, the persecuted are the first to turn around and persecute, you know? But um, I have no problem with Muslims or anybody else that worship whatever. I really don't. And I've got some peculiar types around, you know? I live right in the middle of Trump country. It's crazy. It's like, wow, you guys got no money. You live in a trailer and getting food stamps, but you can buy that merch, you know, and let's go Brandon all over the place, you know, and, <laughs> and worse, but whatever, you know, I don't, I try to be politic when I talk to them without politics <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty good at just getting out of those conversations anyway. Yeah, I'm surrounded by all kinds of things. I got a Viking church down in the next town. Yeah, they worship Odin. And that's fine. They can wear little four hammers, which is totally cool. I know some, I've known quite a few people that wore them just because they thought they were cool, though, because they like Vikings, you know. Not always about paganism, actually, but, but what the heck. Uh, yeah. Pretty open-minded, although it's kind of funny that Jehovah Witnesses visited me like, like, I don't know, twice, and we had a long conversation. It's really nice. They're the ones because <laughs> I look at the time, and they don't come around either. Scientology won't send me junk mail. I miss the junk mail from Scientology. I really do. But anyway, uh, I've had these a long time, and I need to get through them. And I'm not quite done, but that's it for now. Yeah, Islam is misunderstood. But, hey, you know, maybe in my own, my own clumsy way, I'm helping out. Peace.